So with all these challenges you had, you um, ended up running into a gentleman by the name of Scott Culberson, and that kind of sent you on a little bit different path, mm -hmm. or along the same work, but a different path with it. Mm -hmm. So why don't we bring in Scott, and you two can talk about that. Sounds good. For me and my family, it's just really inspiring what you're doing. And at the end of the day, we all have to, I mean, we all have to get along in this mm -hmm. world. And it, it, it's so good to see you uh, just tackle these challenges and instead of worrying about what you can't do, to get busy with what you can do. And I, I just, I'll tell you that I really appreciate that and yes. have been glad to get to know you. Uh, and for those who would be listening, um, I'm a, uh, I, I do a lean consultancy. It's called uh, Lean Practices. And so I, I do enterprise level operational excellence. But as we met, seeing the product actually, uh, uh, not only was, uh, was I inspired, but I was just struck by these same problems that you've talked about with Jim. Mm -hmm. All of us have so many challenges to overcome. And the whole time when we first met, I don't know if I've said this to you, but, but I just kept thinking what I think in every other place that I go. Every place is unique, but we're all humans. Physics is the same everywhere. And generally more than 90% of the effort that we do is non-value adding. And if you could just make a little bit of a dent in that, even at the margins, it can just make such a big difference. So I guess that's how we got to, uh, how we, we, we got to talking. But I, I really appreciate what you do. And there's a lot of conversation that we have to have from here out because mm -hmm. there's so much more that could be done. Yeah. We specifically were introduced because I had a major problem at the time. <laughs> We'd been asked to train 120 women in two months, and eventually we were, we were hoping to train 3,000 women in one year, which is 100 times what we normally do <laughs> in a year. And, and so through just using some basic tweaks to our, te our techniques, we were able to train 120 women to produce something that was sellable within two months. So that that made me a believer and eager to learn more. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, these challenges, they seem so big, but it, 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 it's just so audacious. And uh, you have experiences in Africa and in Central Asia and so forth, and I have my own here, but in every place we can, we shouldn't be surprised by now. Mm -hmm. But you see these things that seem insurmountable, and you can we can just do these these uh, these big things by just putting our effort on, on, on things that add value. You also mentioned something about how dignifying it is because you're empowering the worker. To I don't know if you want to go into more of that, but I found that something that's very intriguing and important part of what we do because we are empowering and equipping women yeah. first and foremost. And there was something you said to me and on Skype, I guess it was, and I don't know if I've pointed this out to you, but I, 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 I'd like to get, get you to react to this too. So you began to have some quality issues. And could, could you take just a moment and speak to a couple of the quality things that had you pulling your hair out? <laughs> well, one issue is people don't like to tie knots in thread. People might have things the wrong size, um, lack of uniformity. Um, just people wanting to do something quicker and cutting a few corners. And because of the, I'm gonna do today and I'll worry about tomorrow mm -hmm. if tomorrow gets here, because of that, I think I heard you say that a lot of the quality, ch these things, we waited till we got to the end and then we mm -hmm. got the, oh shoot, now what am I gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And so just through these conversations, you came to a self-discovery. Do you remember what you said to me? Oh, incorporating the quality checking in each stage so that yeah. There's less to check at the end. Yeah, and that's a uh, that's a term. If 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 we have friends out there who have been around Jadoka or have been around Toyota, that sort of thing, it's Jadoka in the lean world. So now we we have the idea of work, job breakdown. We have the idea of job instruction. We've got the idea of the the. Uh, checking things as we go. So maybe could you speak for just a moment about what's the now and. Uh, how we're going to uh, go to a syllabus for January? I think there's so much potential to go through every aspect of our functions and see how we can make each area more efficient. Um, 
right now we're working on a six day work week and some people struggle to produce within that. So empowering the women who struggle to produce enough in a week to do so in less time, increasing our production and our efficiency, improving our, giving our managers like a solid skills so that they are consistent and ha to have a system to go through. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, you you will know more than me what, <laughs> what how we can improve, but I just think there's lots of potential in all aspects of the business. Mm -hmm.